गुड मॉर्निंग येस टूडे वी गोइंग टू स्टार्ट विद द टॉपिक एंड टूडे इस टॉपिक आई हैव ऑलरेडी डिसाइडेड एंड वी गो नॉट टॉक अबाउट सेंटेंसेस सो यू शुड नो व्हाट टाइप्स ऑफ सेंटेंसेस आर देयर एंड बिफोर इट यू शुड मस्ट नो व्हाट इज अ सेंटेंस सो व्हाट इज अ सेंटेंस अ ग्रुप ऑफ वर्ड्स लाइक फॉर एग्जाम्पल आई कैन मेक अ ग्रुप ऑफ वर्ड्स लाइक went up the hill and jack jill <laughs> is it making any sense it it is not giving any meaning so these words are not giving any sense so it's not sentence definition of a sentence is a group of words which makes a sense a complete sense or gives you a complete meaning like if we arrange those words uh, i had just jumbled those words like jack and jill went up the hill i had just jumbled the words of this sentence so now it is making complete sense jack and jill went up the hill okay so it is giving you a complete meaning or a sense so it is a sentence clear about the sentence so any disarranged words or group of words is not sentence it's just group of words so when you arrange it and make sense out of it then it is a sentence clear so now jump let's jump to types of sentences there are i think three four types of sentences um, assertive sentences which you can call it declarative sentences see these things which i want to mention you are not supposed to read it or uh, read them saying so uh, think and learn it too much and put pressure on yourselves no it's just for the information or knowledge i'm telling you you just you should know that there are types of sentences you should know to discriminate the sentences that's all if you're not uh, remembering the words like this is a zodi sentence or declarative sentence both are same Uh, interrogative sentences exclamatory sentences then uh, imperative sentences which you can say commanding sentences once you are not remembering these words no need you just you should just know there are types of sentences like i am telling you uh imperative sentences let's start with imperative sentences means sentences which shows some kind of command means meaning of imperative imperative means commanding kind of giving order koi bhi sentence jo aapko lagta hai order jaisa dene sa hai uh like go and do this work it's a kind of command aap command kar rahe ho aap order de rahe ho then it is imperative fetch me a glass of water then aap fir se command kar rahe ho to ye kya hai imperative sentence hai clear imperative interrogative from the word interrogate means to question to uh, इंटेरोगेट समथिंग आप कुछ इस चीज़ को क्वेश्चन कर रहे हो एनी सेंटेंस हैविंग क्वेश्चन मार्क इन द एंड इज इंटेरोगेटिव सेंटेंस द सिंपल वे टू नो इट कोई भी क्वेश्चन जैसा सवाल है तो वो इंटेरोगेटिव है जैसे वट इज़ ए नेम वट आई एम डूइंग हु आर यू वाइट इज गेटिंग ब्लैक आउट येस दीज आर इंटेरोगेटिव सेंटेंसेस सिंपल वे question mark interrogative imperative command order imperative two things then assertive or declarative assertive means to state something in a clear way means you are very assertive with the, your opinions your words means you are explaining or you are stating your things or your thoughts your opinions in a clear cut way and in a simple way it's the meaning of the assertive or you can say anything which declares assertive or declarative sentence which declares something so example like uh, i'm declaring mai kuch declare kar rahi hu bata rahi the sun has risen mai aapko bata rahi to surya uday ho chuka hai uh and um, and and, and i am going for a walk so i'm declaring or any kind of declaration like uh, 
PM Modi has announced that uh, farmers they can sell their products or produce to any vendor or to any market and have the maximum profit wherever they are going. So it is a kind of declaration. So it is declared. So declarative sentences, assertive sentences, like it is stating something. State anything like um, coffee is getting, coffee gets, um, not getting, coffee gets cold. in room temperature so this sentence is kind of you're stating something the dog barks you're stating something or you're telling something declaring something so it is declarative or assertive sentences both are same three types of sentences i've told you what are those imperative interrogative declarative or assertive and the fourth is very simple exclamatory sentences the simple way or general way to know it is whenever there is an exclamation mark this is it said I don't know Phoon in Hindi I don't know I don't know I'm, I'm not sure but exclamation exclamation mark is there then it is exclamatory sentence exclamatory sentences are those sentences like when you show strong emotion or sudden emotion or response to anything like wow what a guy you say like no wow what a guy exclamation mark then it is exclamatory sudden emotion or strong emotion or response you have given to something wow such a beautiful day then exclamatory sentence ha huh, what a joke ha huh, what a joke exclamatory sentence then one of my exclamatory word which has become too good for me means my favorite it has become for now booyah <laughs> This word people must be knowing who play Free Fire. Uh, I do play free, free Fire, so I love when I do Booyah. <laughs> I say also Booyah. So this is also exclamatory word or when you use it in a sentence like Booyah, you lose. So this complete sentence is exclamatory sentence. So there are these types of four sentences. Any other? Mm. Yes, like all these four types of sentences, these could be positive or negative. So it just got eight sentences like, uh, Booyah, you lose. It is pos positive, no negative. I don't think so in exclamatory we can do that, but exclamatory? Yes, we can do that. Like, mm, oh, alas, um, Sophia is dead and it is negative sentence not negative uh, like you can say positive uh, positive and negative sentences positive sentences which is not having not or no negative sentence which is having no not in general way like he's dancing positive sentence and it is assertive and declarative because you are telling or stating something declaring something it's not dancing Negative declarative sentence because you're telling something negative like no he is not So whenever there is no not Then it is negative sentence whenever there is no no not <laughs> Only the use of like simple without no not then it is positive sentence I think I told you almost about the sentences Yes, there is one more thing I would like to mention. You must have heard about the words like, so you must have heard of the words like sentence, phrase, clause. But we generally don't know the differences. So difference is sentence are the group of words which give complete meaning. Then it is a sentence. Phrases are are these are, are phrases are like group of words they are also group of words which give meaning it's not like they don't they give meanings meanings so i have shared a worksheet and i'm going to explain the answers and i'm going to answer it so for that i have to pause and let's go to the worksheet 
so as you can see the worksheet has been displayed on the screen and here it reads like types of sentences select if the sentence is declarative interrogative exclamative or imperative first one is please put my pencil on the desk this is imperative because it's a kind of command or a request second I like to play outside you're stating something you're declaring something so it is a declarative sentence third how many squirrels do you see in the tree you're questioning so it's a interrogative question, uh, sentence fourth do you know the muffin man this is again a question so it's interrogative sentence fifth I love pizza you're showing a strong emotion or response to something so it is exclamative sentence sixth please take out your folders now again you're commanding in a requestive way or you're requesting so it is imperative seventh my shoe is untied now you're telling something you're stating something you're declaring something this is declarative sentence eight happy birthday dracula so you're wishing if you are wishing that is also a kind of strong emotion and it is having exclamation marks it is exclamative sentence ninth Minions are the color yellow. You are declaring, you are stating something, you are telling something. So, this is declarative sentence. Tenth, do not run in the hallway. What is this? This is a kind of command. You are telling someone to do this kind of order, command. So, it is imperative sentence. So, all ten are done. Thank you. So I have answered all the questions and I've explained the answers as well. Hope it has helped you. So see you in next video. Till then, bye-bye. Thank you.